Yeah, so indeed I, I, I decided to speak English for three reasons. First of all, because we are in Belgium, and you all are now here in Belgium, and I wish all of you, since you are here, to already try, if not for you, then for your kids, to try to assimilate. Also in Belgium there is a tradition that if there are more than two languages in the room, they usually speak English. So Dutch and French, they usually choose English as their communication language. And here in this room we have three languages. Ukrainian, Russian, and we have French. Um, next slide. So the key sectors I represent, uh, I have um, a group of companies. The main company is a shipping company. We have 10 international offices with Antwerp since 2019 being the headquarters. Uh, so, and, and our company has offices in 10 com countries. Today I had to speak about doing business in Belgium. And uh, one of the most important things uh, when you come to Belgium or any other country is to uh, try to be local and more importantly, to, to try and promote yourself, to sell yourself, to sell your skills, knowledge, and yourself as a, as a human capital. And in Belgium, there are, I would say, two very important rules. First, you have to follow the law. And second, I would say, is be entrepreneurial. So if you have these two characteristics, you can be very successful in Belgium. Belgium is the size of Crimea. So it's very important to understand that it's a small country where everybody would know everyone through one or two or maximum three uh, contacts. And one of the most important uh, problems of Ukrainians, they were never taught good enough to sell themselves, to promote themselves. And second problem is that they come from a very corrupt environment, which here does not work. So next slide. Now I'll take, talk about advantages of Belgium, which I continue to discover myself, no matter how long I live in Belgium. Because in 2017, when I, when I needed to choose the country where I would live, I could choose from eight different countries. Yeah, and I chose Belgium for a number of reasons, which I will try to explain. And foremost is that it's a very, very advanced, very uh, rich, land. It's very rich on transport, chemical industry, diamonds, mm -hmm. chocolate, fashion, beer, and many other things. Of course, it, not every part of Belgium is equally rich. There are There is a Dutch part and there is a French part. I come from a Dutch part. I would say Belgium is hedonism. I don't know if you everybody knows this topic, but if you don't, please look it up. It's a very important um, comparison. And many Belgians say they are not good in marketing and ad advertising. And I think it's because they live in a country which is so rich and so successful. It doesn't need advertising. Um, another reason for doing business in Belgium is because it's safe, predictable and low on uh, attacks. I, um, when I chose... Um, uh, can we have next slide please? When I chose uh, Belgium, uh, one more element for me, which was very, very important, is how comfortable my, my uh, family would be, because they are not uh, Dutch nor French speaking. And uh, Belgium has four national or official languages. English is three national and English is an official language. Therefore, everybody here, almost everyone speaks three, sometimes four or more languages. Um, another very, very important uh, element for me when, when I came, uh, or let's say when I chose to stay and, and do my business here because I travel, uh, is, is how central Belgium is in terms of its uh, connectivity. So you can uh, go to almost every one of these locations in two hours. Very, very, very important when you are in, in today's world. Or by train. Uh, there are nine airports. Not in Belgium, but within an hour you can easily reach nine airports. Very, very important. And uh, when you travel for business or for pleasure, it's a question of how easy and how expensive it is to travel. It's perfect for family, because I, I usually compare this to Crimea, and I usually say that there are four parks the size of Disneyland in just one country. Parks, sport venues, museums, and lakes. Next slide. 47 farms. Next slide. 
120 vineyards. I don't know if all Belgians know this, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of vineyards. 304 breweries. <laughs> Next slide. Mountains and, and caves. I'm not sure I have this slide, but there are, I think, 8,000 castles. Maybe it's the next slide. Oh, sorry, 3,000. 3,000. This is the region one on one. <laughs> next slide. And Belgium, just because it's also uh, end of the week, Belgium is very, very rich on restaurants as well. But I think for you, it's very important that this country, of all the European countries, is also very low on cost of living. So it's, it's, it's almost half the price of in France or Holland. Wow. Next slide. It's higher on taxes, yes, but it's also very, very, very secure in terms of doing business. When you pay taxes, you know what you pay for. So these are my two very strong recommendations just to finish this uh, presentation. And you can find my contacts here. Yeah, thank you.